A vigil is held for the teenage victim of a quadruple shooting in Baltimore City. Friends and family remembered 16 year old Milton Carrington. WJZ is live from police headquarters. Sean Stryker brings us their emotional reaction. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Tim. Yeah, it's a terrible story. 16 year old Milton Carrington was supposed to be starting school today. Instead, he became one of Baltimore's latest murder victims. He was one of four people shot in a single incident. Just a few days ago, Milton Carrington was walking along this spot, but now it's a memorial for the 16 year old who was shot and killed. Around 1230 last Thursday morning, someone shot Milton, his mother, and two other teenagers in front of a store on East Monument Street. At a vigil Monday, Milton's mother told the crowd she was shot 10 times. I ain't care how many holes I had in me. I went over there and started CPR on my child. When she got shot, she had crawled to the step. So I had pulled her into the store. She said she ain't want to come in there. She wanted me to take her to her son. So I picked up, took across the street to her son. It hurt me. No child don't deserve to be gunned down like a dog in the street. No child. It was three kids out there. Not just my son. Since Thursday, there have been three separate quadruple shootings in the city. Milton is one of the youngest victims. This is a photo of him at his eighth grade graduation almost two years ago. As his friends and siblings go back to school, they'll have to cope with an immense loss. It's, just, it's very, very tough to walk into school tomorrow, look these kids in the eye, and say, hey, I know, I know your big brother's gone, but we're going to be here to try to be a stabilizing force when we're still hurting ourselves as adults. Local activist Kwame Rose tweeted, Milton was one of the first kids from Monument Street ready to work and clean up the neighborhood. As balloons with his favorite color were released Monday, his grandmother said she'll miss his smile. It's a good kid. He deserved this. Now, police are still investigating who carried out this quadruple shooting. They ask if you have any information to please contact them. Milton's family has set up a GoFundMe to help with funeral costs. We have a link to that GoFundMe on our website. Reporting live outside police headquarters, I'm Sean Stryker for WJZ.